She had this letter with her. She wanted to know if it was connected to the symbols. Now, I'd never seen anything quite like it, so I, I, um, well, I snuck a picture of it while she wasn't looking. I, Theodore Rose of New York City, a loyal patriot of sound mind and body, do the make this my last will and testament. Theodore Rose was an 18th century stonemason of some renown, but it's more than a will. Keep reading here. So I pass to them still living this key, which marks the way to our great secret enshrined within the city. And this letter is the key to finding it. Where did she get it? She didn't say, but according to the date and seal, it was written in 1798. And the Latin phrases, what do they mean? No, I translated some of them for her. They're riddles of some kind. Uh, this one says, the world turns between the heavens and the ash heap. They're not riddles, they're clues. Clues leading to some great Masonic treasure. And this last line could be why she was murdered. Pericle, and the Lord, my ominous. My Latin is pretty rusty, but I think that means peril and woe to him who follows this path with a dark heart. Okay. So that pattern of scars on our monk's dome was from a procedure called stereotactic brain surgery. Okay, can that get us an ID? Because medical records are confidential. Prison records aren't. I took a shot that our guy did some time. 19 men in the system had this surgery, but only one had scars that were an exact match to the monk. Benjamin Wade, he got surgery to remove a tumor while doing a stretch at Greenhaven for attempted murder. Hear that, Castle? Our suspect is an ex-con, a felonious monk. Hey, Beckett. Got no current address on Benjamin Wade, but he did have an apartment in the Bronx before he got sent to the joint. Okay, check it out. See if anyone knows where he is now. <laughs>